Warning, this video contains extremely graphic footage of a deadly spider that has an amazing ability for survival. Oh hi there, I've had some huge problems with redback spiders at my house. Uh, sorry for doing so many spider videos. <laughs> so I dare say some people love them. Hopefully I'm teaching you stuff along the way. This is a redback spider down here that I found between the bricks uh, up on the cooler side of our house that was quite alarming. There's also another multi-legged critter in there which I don't know what's the name, you can tell me what it is. It's become a very strange love affair between those two. Uh, it's been like this for two days and somehow the multi-legged thing is still alive. But this video is very simple. I'll be putting that red back spider there, which is a nice big female, into this jar of water to show you how they survive in water. I've got some tools here to help me manage the spider. I actually like my triple chopsticks things. That's the thing I use to clean out my Dyson vacuum cleaner. It's like a custom thing that I made. But I'll be definitely wearing gloves in this video. Okay, very careful here. Noticing I've got the gloves on. Um, my YouTube friend Beanmeister22 did a fantastic video of a black widow spider in water and what happens and why it's very dangerous to flush these types of spiders down the toilet. Uh, they have an incredible survival strategy when it comes to water and hopefully I'll display that to you in this video, nice and clear and crisp. And the spider, the spider's up on the lid there and what I've got to do is uh, get this girl out without her running up my arm. Oh, that was a bit nasty wasn't it? Leg caught in the lid there. Oh she's free, don't worry she's an escape artist. Mm, okay, I'll have to be honest here, I uh, treat these with a lot of respect. You, the way I look at it is they're like loaded guns. Okay, they've always got ammo in them and they're always prepared to do something really nasty. Now if I'm quick here, I'll just grab her by a leg. One of the legs is eight to choose from. And she's not going to like me when I got her. Okay, I got her by one of the back legs and I'll get her over into the water. Okay, time for a bit of a swim. Okay, she's doing a bit of a spider backstroke, but she's also balling up because she's feeling a bit threatened. So already we can see that she's got the ability to uh, stay on the top of water. Mind you, a lot of uh, bugs and insects can do that. Let's give her a bit more of a hard time in here and see if we can get her to go underwater. Okay, there she goes. Okay, this is exactly what I want you to see. Notice there's that bubble of air around where her mouth is. That's the front of her. And as I found when I was flushing out the spiders from the toys, I think there was only maybe one or two that were actually killed. Um, the rest of them were able to survive. She's very happy under there and she can hide out in the water for a long time. And here she is on the uh, near side, should I say, to where the camera is and the glass. I'm shooting through the jar here. You can still see her beautiful reflection there, a bit squashed up. But look at the air bubbles around her. You're seeing it nice and clear here. And it's, well... Apart from the reason why you don't flush spiders like this down the toilet, it's probably another reason why you don't go swimming in pools without having a very careful look at what's swimming around inside first. Well, I can get some very freakish shots. It looks like a spider fighting a spider, doesn't it? But it's its own reflection. That is just so freaky. Look at the air bubbles around that too. Be afraid. Be very, very afraid. I'm looking at her on top, and there she is floating on the water there. Now, most people would look at that and they think, Oh, look at that, the poor dead little spider. But never be complacent and never be fooled. This girl is well alive, I can assure you. If I give a bit of a prod, she'll come back to life for me, I'm sure. There you go. Look at that. You never, ever trust these guys. I can tell you, they play dead really well. Really, really well. And while she's got those air bubbles around her, oh, she's got something to breathe, hasn't she? There she is down there. Look at her. Nothing wrong with her. She's as happy as Larry down there. Well, everyone got scared of their Tonka toys now. Everyone's got scared of the pool and going to the toilet. I'll just try and grab her and I'll bring her out. I think I've shown you enough of that. There's one thing we want to test with this little girl. And I'll put her out here to dry for a while. Well, there she is down there. Look at that, hey? You thought she was gone, didn't you? There's nothing wrong with her. She's going to spring back to full health, I can guarantee it. And from the spider infestation, I'm actually learning a lot about these spiders. They're extremely robust spiders. They're extremely good at hiding. Uh, they're very, very effective killers. Uh, they basically kill anything that's in their path. Uh, <laughs> but the thing that I haven't got in the garden is the thing that kills them, and I think that's why I'm in a lot of trouble at the moment. So how much threat was that jar of water to that redback spider? 
absolutely zero. She is back to full health. It's taken her about oh about five minutes to get as sprightly as you see there. A big wake up call for everyone I hope. That's what this video is about. There's almost an urban myth that if you go and spray your garden with a hose and you spray all the spider webs and you hit them hard and you see the spiders scurrying away, um, drenched in the water that they're going to die. I don't think it works like that, certainly not with these spiders here, they love a bit of water. Mind you, they don't like living in wet areas, they tend to live in nice dry warm areas which is quite perplexing isn't it? We have learned a few things in past videos, I have learned that the product like this does nothing to spiders even though someone left a comment saying that deodorants will kill spiders fast, they don't unless they are set up in a very special way which we won't discuss in this video. People say a product like this, WD-40, I think it's known all over the world, I'm not sure whether that uh, uh, kills spiders and other people say it also deters spiders. I can't read it saying that in what it can and can't do, maybe you can tell me more about that, maybe I need to test that one. Things like this, I don't think so, I mean I get some of the strangest comments because, well, welcome to YouTube. I certainly know a product like this is actually very good, I've had much success with this sort of product and notice it's a red back there. If you see an American branded product you'll see a Black Widow. They just basically add a red dot for us, I think. Uh, I like a product like that. And the way that it sprays long distance, yes, I've used that. Now the one we're going to test at the moment is this one here, Methylated Spirits. I saw a comment, and I don't know whether I'm going to find it, one spray of this stuff here will hammer that redback spider instantly. Let's see if it's true. Methylated Spirits, uh, in Australia we call it Metho. I don't know what it's called overseas, there's probably different names for it overseas. Maybe people call it alcohol. It does say that it's just ethanol solution there with a UN number. It also says it's a flammable liquid. And it also says there, product use, window cleaning, burner fuel and general cleaner. Now what I can't see in that read is something like that. Or a picture like that there. It does have me curious, it is an interesting suggestion I must admit, you have to be very careful with this stuff because when it's on fire it's actually very hard to see. What I have done is I have decanted some of the method spirits into this spray mister here which is already primed. And Mrs Deadly Redback Spider down there is about to have a date with destiny. Okay what I'm going to do is just give it one squirt, I'm not going to go overboard because I'm pretty sure the person said it takes very little to kill spiders. Okay here we go. Sorry about this Mrs. Spider, but there are far too many of you about. Okay, that's one squirt. Now let's see what happens. Well, I'll be quite honest here, I can't see her balling up or being in any massive distress. We'll just keep watching this. I dare say she's feeling a bit cold because it will evaporate away. I'll let a bit more time play out and see what goes on. I'll just turn the jar lid around and she's doing circuits in there. Uh, she's not moving that fast, mind you she's getting up a bit of speed now. Uh, put it this way, she hasn't like curled up like spiders do, dragged their legs in and looking like she's about to die. Uh, she's just stomping on, as if nothing has happened. I honestly think we're dealing with another YouTube myth. Uh, you see a lot of comments about spider control, I think there's not many of them you can actually take that sincerely, it's sort of a little bit sad um, because I think you really need to understand how to control these because they are such a dangerous spider. Well, a little moments there where she has a rest, but I'm pretty sure there's nothing wrong with her. Yeah, look at that, she's fighting fit. Well, Metho uh, has done nothing to this girl. Um, in one way I'm surprised, and another way I'm not surprised, and then I know people say, oh, but Leo, you're meant to have set her on fire when you put the Metho on her. I'm actually looking for something that is an effective control. I think we need to understand this. Uh, I mean, obviously, the Rex owner, when it's on fire, is actually, I think, has been one of the better control methods that I've got, and I've, I'm starting to learn how to use that very effectively. Uh, the Metho spray uh, does not work. And maybe if I pour the methylated spirits in there, we might get a different result, or she may just swim around. Let's just see. I can tell you one thing, I'm not seeing the air bubbles like I saw with the water and she's still moving, uh, mind you I don't think she's that happy at the moment. Yeah she's now rolled onto her back, mind you notice how robust she is, she's still kicking. Once again this isn't fast, we're about a minute down after pouring it in there and she stopped moving. Okay she's still now, let me just see if she's got any life left in her, oh no there you go, she's still moving, she's just playing dead in there. That is alcohol she's in at the moment. 
Maybe she's just holding a breath. I don't know how these guys work, but I'm really surprised that she's still kicking. I'm gonna leave in there for about five minutes. Then I'm gonna pull her out and we're gonna see if she's still alive. One or two things will happen. Either she'll be dead or she'll be as drunk as a skunk. Exterminate, exterminate. I've just made myself a coffee. Let's come back and see if Mrs. Spider has survived five minutes in the methylated spirit. And it's definitely club time again. If you're a gambling person, what are you gonna say? Dead or alive, hey? Dead or alive, what do you think? Giving a bit of a prod there, sometimes they'll start to move and do things if you give them a prod. Five minutes in the metho. But that's why I don't think she's as sprightly as she used to be. Maybe I'll drag her out and see how she performs if she starts to dry out. Come on, Mr. Spider, come with me. And I'll put her down right here. Doctor Who fans are going to be very happy. Do you think she's dead? Do you think she's alive? Or is she just mucking around with us again? Mm. The curious spiders, uh, when they do... If, like, if you spray them, they don't ball up. Like, pull their legs in and anything like you see other spiders do. I don't quite understand why. Um, I'm not really seeing any movement out of her there. Maybe if I ride her onto her top side, it might give her a bit of a bit of a, a thing to you know, get moving again. There. Ah, oh, sneaky suspicion. She's actually passed away, or she's totally stupidly drunk and comatose by alcohol. Uh, but I really think she's gone. If she comes back to life after that, it'll be a total miracle. I actually um, don't believe what I'm seeing. I'm sure this spider's moving. Uh, I, I think it's coming back to life. I think it's basically held its breath in the metho. And it's coming back to life. This thing is a zombie spider. As frightful as that sounds, the zombie spiders are going to take over the world. I have got the biggest goosebumps on my body that I've ever had. This thing is unstoppable. It is coming back alive. Okay, the red back spider, deadly spider. Has the spider survived being in methylated spirits for five minutes? As we saw in this video, it loved to swim in water. It's perfectly adapted to swimming in water, just like the way Bean Master 22 showed in his video with the Black Widow. We also saw that it survived a spray of methylated spirits. It was like, oh, metho, I've had that before. But what I want to show in this video is how robust these spiders are. They are extremely difficult to control, and they are extremely dangerous, and they are spreading themselves all around the world, so keep an eye out for them. I better leave this video here. I hope you learned something. As always, thanks for watching, and bye for now.